Com today. But first, let's just take. It looks like there's a lag. It stopped. I'm back. <laughs> I'm back. That's the, you know what, we might have a bit of trouble with live today because everybody's home. So we might not have as much bandwidth as usual at this time of day. You know what I'm saying? I think we're good now, I'm sorry. Okay. So uh, before sorry, we, froze yeah, sorry about the freezing. So before we get into that, because I really want to hear how you're doing and what's happening where you are and have just some time to connect and chat with all of you, let's just take a minute to come into our bodies, to breathe and to, to settle. We will say hello. I want to just have a few minutes to uh, be in our bodies first, to ground, because what I'm finding is when I come online, it's very easy to uh, get into that frenetic energy. So let's uh, have our time here together and not be like that today. So, so take a moment to find a comfortable seat. And maybe even close your eyes so you can be more inward focused. So we're all together. We are connected. We're all connected in our experience right now. We're we, we know we're all together right now. But let's all be in our bodies as well. So feel the earth underneath you. So feel the stillness, the support, the quietness of the earth the stability of the earth. And then let your spine be long, open through the back of your neck, the back of your ears, the crown of your head. Let there be space between your teeth. Let, the, let your throat soften. Let your front of your chest soften, let your elbows be directly under your shoulders. And just let yourself be in your body, feel the physical sensations of your body. So for those of you who are just joining us, we're just taking a few moments at the beginning here to be in our bodies without trying to fix or change our experience in any way. So. What I'm finding recently is that I'm adding a lot to my suffering by not allowing myself to feel what I'm feeling. So right now I'm feeling, and it's going to be different for each one of us. What I'm feeling is probably not going to be what you're feeling. Each one of us are going to be feeling different things. So I'm feeling tension on the back of my neck, tightness in my throat, tightness in my chest, tightness and bloating in my belly. sort of a buzziness around my body. I'll just do a little bit of movement too. So take your hands and just do some figure eights with your wrists on your right hand. And your left hand, and we'll do them together. So these figure eight patterns remind us that it's safe to move, safe to move in all directions. At a time when many of us are confined in smaller spaces, we can still move. And notice that when you give your body permission to move, if that helps to open up your breathing. 
So breathing in and out through your nose. And then just feel the movement in your diaphragm. That fluid movement in your diaphragm. So, let's have a sip of tea together and feel the, feel the cup of tea in your hand or water, whatever you have, and then take your tea and feel the tea coming into your body. Feel it going all the way down the warmth of it. Mm, so good. Okay. So let's say hello to each other. You see that there's um, lots of people here today. So I want to say hello to you. And I just want to see how you're doing. You know, there's a, a lot going on in the world. And I am struggling probably just like all of you I'm I keep thinking you know I'll do a yoga practice and or a meditation practice and I'll feel fine and then I'll come out of it and it's just not fine again <laughs> almost automatically <laughs> so um, I just thought I'd check in and see how you're all doing and um See what's happening where you are in your world because there's just so much uncertainty right now. So um, let's just see how you're doing. I, I think there's a big leg now, <laughs> a big time leg, right? No? Okay. So, oh, I see about 10 more people have just joined us. So welcome. We just took some time to be in our bodies. I think there was a YouTube glitch. Yeah, I think there's a YouTube glitch, yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm not seeing any new comments, so. So welcome to um, Sandra and Tanya and Pascal and Louisa and Becky and Sabina. How do I get new comments then? Use the computer instead? Okay. Okay. It's okay. There I am looking on my own computer. <laughs> oh, here they all are. Here is everybody. <laughs> okay, this is working. All right. Calm within the chaos. Tina Oxlin, hello. Um, Cheryl's saying she goes in and out with emotions, and I can really relate to that too. It's like one minute. I'm feeling calm and collected and grounded. And then the next minute, it's like um, I'm just completely um, frenetic and anxious and feeling um, ungrounded again. So I can really relate to those extremes right now. Hi, Melody. Hi, Connie. I'm happy to be with you today, too, and everybody else here. Hello, Violetta from Oxford in the UK. Tanya's here with us in Serbia. Uh, calm within the chaos is home with her child and her child, her child has developmental disabilities, so it's minute by bit minute. Can um, Natalie, Natalie, hi. Um, from Massachusetts. Elka's here from the Netherlands. 
Uh, Donna's saying she's finding it's overwhelming because she doesn't know what's going to happen next. And I can relate to that experience too. And I'm sure, um, and you guys can respond to each other in the comments as well, because um, I know that I'm finding the not knowing what's going to happen next quite overwhelming too. And also just that things aren't happening as they normally would at this time of year, you know, like, um, like Tim and I were in, felt like we were in real flow right before this happening. And then all of a sudden this happened and everything has changed. Everything has changed. You know, uh, my daughter is working full time at a grocery store right now. She, she was working at a grocery store before too, but now she's working full time at a grocery store, which feels like it brings a lot of uncertainty into our lives. It's very stressful for her there. Um, the, you know, the environment there is very kind of scary. They've got these barriers built up for them there. And then there's a kind of like, it's not really security, but it kind of is outside where they clean off all the carts and they only let so many people in the store at a time. So, and people, you know, most people are very nice, but then some people are quite short with her. So she comes home at the end of the day, like quite stressed and upset usually and uh so because she's out in the public every day um you know we feel that also because we're still working full time because our work is online i think that our experience is maybe a little different from other people um besides the other people who are still working to keep the society going right now um in that we are we are still having to um show up every day right now so um but in a in a society that's very different so um i totally get the don't know what happens next thing um because things were going one way and now they're not <laughs> um benny saying she's having ups and downs too and feeling off, often very overwhelmed. And uh, Benny's talking about being highly sensitive, and um, I can relate to that too. I know I, we have a, high, a, a series for highly sensitive people on our channel. And thank you, Benny, for reminding me of that because I don't think I have that on my playlist yet. So I will add that to my extended playlist because on the um, playlist that I released yesterday, when you make a playlist on YouTube, you can't put playlists within playlists. You can only put like single classes. So on the the um, post that I put on my um, website, I'll add full playlists, right? So full playlists that I would recommend right now, the Highly Sensitive Person series, the Inner Critic series, all of the restorative yoga, all of the yoga nidra, all of the... Um, yin and the heart stabilization series is a really good one I created that series at an, another time in our history where we felt very destabilized it's grounding and heart opening at the same time so it's not really great to come into heart opening when we're not super super grounded so that series does both it puts us completely rooted but also in our hearts. So the heart stabilization series is really good. So that'll go on that post today as well. Hi, Jennifer. Jennifer's here as well. Um, yeah, the extra security is, I think, meant to make us feel more secure, but it's um, it's disarming, isn't it? It's It makes me feel more... Um, it makes me feel more scared, to be honest. It makes me feel more fearful. Yeah. Uh, Elko is saying that. Renee. Um, sorry, it's kind of weird. This It kind of, as soon as I... Uh, Susan Williamson saying, I am being very cautious as I live with an immune suppressed condition and I got checked out before this just started. I'm not afraid, but I end up doing a lot of self-care pacing. Yeah, that's it's it's um it's good. This the extra self-care I think is very necessary right now. 
So I think that I'm finding that as well, that it's just like, I don't know how much self-care I need right now. It's like, it seems like a lot of extra than from before. Like, and, and I also think, yeah, <laughs> we are doing a lot of snacks right now. Like we're a big snack family anyway. But the snack consumption around here seems to have gone up a little bit. <laughs> um, so snacks is good self-care in our house. Um, but I need a lot of alone time. And Tim Tim is actually like he's very mammalian. Like he likes to be out with the animals and other people. And right now he's at home a lot, so I don't get as much alone time, and that's <laughs> that's causing a little bit of trouble for us. No, not for Tim. So Tim follows me around like a puppy. So um, yeah, I we haven't quite found our rhythm with the self care yet. So um, I'll let you know how that goes, Susan. Um, so maybe you can give me some tips for your guys. Put in the comments what you're doing for this extra self-care right now because I think that really is key Susan's really um, struck something important there uh, I think the extra self-care is really important Louise is saying she's trying to sleep more and rest more oh so all of a sudden I get like more comments and it pushes up <laughs> so if I skip that's why I'm sorry Becky's saying she's feeling very reflective and the silence in the world, which is normally so busy, is a little unnerving. Yeah, I feel that too. So Becky's talking about uh, outside. I feel like with both ends of that. Like, I like the extra quiet because um, on the one hand, it feels better on my nervous system. I was talking with one of my friends about this the other day. We were both saying like it's allowed our nervous system to calm down because it's so much quieter, like less airplanes, less road traffic and everything. And yet, on the other hand, it's like everybody's online now. And that's uh, kind of ramped up my nervous system because I work online, I think. So... I feel like right now, uh, for me, it's like extremes, right? There's like this silence and then there's this noise. And so I feel like part of this uncertainty is that we haven't kind of, I haven't found the middle ground. I haven't found the ground yet. <laughs> it's like so destabilizing. So I totally get what you mean about that. Tina's talking about, it's like a very weird sensation. It's though I've done something wrong. I totally, totally feel that too. I'm totally feeling that. Like, because it's like totally off kilter. Sabina's saying she's quite worried because the situation's already hard for a lot of people. It, it's true. It's so true. I think um, Tim and I are quite worried about that as well, you know, because... Um, you know, what are the financial implications? And then there's a lot of vulnerable populations uh, financially. Um, and also health-wise, just it's, it's, it is quite concerning. And when you, and I feel like a lot of the, um, like tension in my body is, if I really touch into that, it's just, it's just gonna like break me you know, so it's super hard, it's super hard, mm, Tanya's husband's still working full-time, so she's worried about him, yeah, it's hard, because a lot of us have, a lot of us are working full-time still, um, and have family members who are working full-time, and so that's really, it's really hard to see our loved ones, or to be going out, and because also the other thing is that it is the energy is quite frenetic out there when you go out to do the to do to do the work. Oh, I got another jump, so I'm sorry if I'm jumping. Um, Benny, so this looks like self care, um, meditation, healthy food, laughing with our girls. One of the things I've been finding most healing in our membership community. Um, some of our members have been posting photos of their children and grandchildren there's 
you know, they're not f feeling it in the same way, I think. Maybe, well, they probably are, but, you know, they're still playing and just seeing their joy has been giving me a lot of joy. Donna's saying I need alone time too, but since I live alone, I'm getting too much alone time. <laughs> yeah, I get that. Um, speaking to friends on the phone, but I need physical contact still. Totally. Hmm. Stephanie is looking after her mother who's recovering from heart surgery. So yeah, that's tough for uh, those of us who are caregivers, either of children or um, parents. It's a, a lot to add to the stress of the situation. Alka saying, um, Lots of the Insta yogis are doing Insta live classes and offering through Zoom, which is new for me. Yeah, so I've found that a lot of the spaces where um, I've been are feeling like really crowded. And that's been a new experience for me as well. Pascal saying observing nature in, is helping me a lot. We, Tim and I are finding that too, just to, uh, we're very lucky where we live to be able to just walk outside and yeah, <laughs> so here's Tim the mammal person again. Yesterday we saw deer and otters and eagles and hummingbirds. We sat with the deer. <laughs> You're so mean. You're so mean. <laughs> Donna's saying she's worried for her neighbors who are not working. Yeah, I'm worried for my neighbors too. Oh, there's a really sweet young man who moved in just in the apartment next to us and he works for the Empress Hotel downtown and like pretty much a couple of days in he got laid off and he's just young. He's in his early 20s and you told me that. Right. Same difference. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Tina's asking, I think she's saying, can I visualize closing the virtual office door? I think she's not working. Mm. She's playing right now. says she's been dreaming about parties with lots of people around. <laughs> I love that. Okay. Um, so I said that keep... I'm glad that you... Uh, hi, Heather. It's nice for you to join us. I have some poems for you today. To uh, Let's see where we're going to go with this, and I'll come back to your comments in a bit. So I, I'm loving this conversation that we're having about how we're doing. Let me know how you're doing and how things are where you are. Um, one of the things that I've been finding is um, I, I released that, so I wanted to talk a little bit about releasing that playlist yesterday because I've been finding that a lot of people have been releasing a lot of offers and I've been finding that really triggering. Like it's... Um, a lot of things are coming out and it's like it feels like a lot of noise and it feels kind of grabby and a little bit desperate and a little bit um, like opportunistic or like yeah I, I'll just be completely honest with you like it's like people are like freaking out and so they're putting putting everything reaching as much as they can right now and I'm finding that really difficult to watch. I don't know about you guys, but that's what's really coming up for me. So I'm finding that very challenging. So it makes me feel like I don't want to put anything out right now. However, the playlist that I put out was in response to a post that I posted uh, about a week ago now where I asked you, <laughs> where I said the same thing, that I am being very triggered right now around the noise. But what is it that you need? Do you want 
suggestions. And I got over to responses in various places, uh, on Facebook, on Instagram, on YouTube, and emails and such. And so I collected them all. And so I put together this playlist because a lot of things we already have because we've been doing this for 10 years online and I've been teaching for 20 years. So I put together this playlist and I wanted to let you know that that was the intention behind it, that we had over 200 requests. And so there's that playlist now and we'll add an extended version of it. The extended version will also have suggestions for the members in our membership community. I wanted to speak to that because I'm not asking anybody to join the membership community right now. That's not the intention behind it. There won't even be a link to join the membership community right now because I know that money is going to be an issue for people right now. It's just that there are a lot of resources that are even better in our membership community right now and if you're a member i want you to be able to have those classes based on their requests like for grounding there's a whole bunch of classes for daily yoga there's a whole series etc i'm not going to go into that a lot just to let you know why that's there it's not to push that on you right now it's just that a lot of the people that do watch my yoga with melissa videos are also members and i wanted them to be able to have that that's the intention is not to push anything on you right now. Um, yeah, so that was in response to a conversation with all of you. It's not meant to be grabby. It's not meant to be opportunistic. And I just want you to know that that's not my intention at all. So hopefully that speaks to that. Maybe I'll just see which... Pardon? Okay. So, to that end, I actually have a poem around that. <laughs> around advice. Because it's not advice, it's responding to requests. This is a, a poem called Advice to a Prophet by Richard Wilbur. When you come, as you soon must, to the streets of our city, mad-eyed from stating the obvious not proclaiming our fall, but begging us in God's name to have self-pity. Spare us all the word of the weapons, their force and range, the long numbers that rocket the mind. Our slow, unreckoning hearts will be left behind, unable to fear it too strange. Nor shall you scare us with talk of death of the race. How shall we dream of this place without us? The sun mare fire leaves us untroubled about us, a stone look on the stone's face. Speak of the world's own change. Though we cannot conceive of an undreamt thing, we know to our cost how the dreamt cloud crumbles, the vines are blackened by frost, how the view alters we could believe. If you told us so that the white-tailed deer will slip into perfect shade, grown perfectly shy, the lark avoid reaches of our eye, the jack pine loose its knuckled grip. On the cold ledge in every torrent burn, a zenith once gliding trout stunned a twinkling. What should we be without a dolphin's arc, a dove's return? These things which we have seen ourselves and spoken. Ask us, prophet, how shall we call our natures forth when that live, live tongue is all dispelled, that glass obscured or broken, in which we have said the rose of our love and the clean horse of our courage, in which we beheld the singing locusts of the soul unshelled, and all we mean or wish to mean, ask us whether with the world, wordless rose our hearts shall fail us, come demanding, whether there shall be lofty or long-standing when the bronze annals of the oak tree close. So, um, the calm within the chaos said, thanks so much for talking about the grabbiness. 
Okay, good. I'm glad I'm not the only one feeling that. <laughs> um, Magdalena said her husband and her have been taking rides to the countryside five minutes away and taking roads that they've always been curious about, but too much in a rush to explore. That's such a beautiful idea. Nice. What a beautiful way to connect with nature. Natalie said where she lives, all non-essential businesses had to close Sunday. No one's allowed to be in a group of more than two outside. The beach is closed. You can take a walk down the street, but that's it. That's too bad that the beach is closed. I know they've been having problems with crowding on beaches, but that's too bad. Tina liked the poem. Deborah's doing home routine, adding what I've learned so far. Very little internet connection. So glad to be here. Yeah, let me know what your home routines are. My routines changed a little bit. Um, I have to say I'm doing more yoga some days. Some days I'm finding it really hard to get to it and meditation. So some days I'm able to do it and some days I just can't. But I got to say those days I'm probably filming right now. So it's a question of how much energy I have, I think, right now. And extra energy seems to be on short supply right now. Is anybody else really tired right now? Like just, there seem, Tim's talking, you're tired right now too, aren't you? Not at this exact moment. No, but generally tired. Yeah. Yeah. There seems to be like a limited amount of energy. So I, when I have the energy, we've been filming a lot lately because we have a series coming out for our members at the beginning of April that'll start dripping out at the beginning of April. And then we're out of classes for yoga with Melissa right now as well. And even for our second channel, we're out of classes for everything right now, which is interesting timing. Friday, Friday we've got a live class here again. This is meant to be on our other channel, but and that's a long story. We're not going to get into technical issues. Um, so as far as routines, yes, I'm, I'm finding ideally uh, when I'm not filming a lot, which we are right now. Um, like yesterday we didn't film, I did a lot of yoga yesterday. Um, also daily routine, um, anybody else got a daily cleaning routine going on right now? <laughs> I, she says sheepishly, but one of the first things, I'm curious about that too, what you guys are doing for that. But one of the first things I do in the morning now is clean my bathroom. Then I go through the house and I clean all the light switches and handles and electronics that we touch so much. So I'm curious how you guys do that and, and what you clean. And sort of every day as I touch things that I touch often, I kind of make a mental note that I need to add that to that list of things to clean the next day in the morning, first thing. And then hand washing. Um, I'd like to know what you're doing to uh, protect that layer of skin on your hands because my hands are just completely, like I'm losing a layer of skin on my hands. So what hand cream are you using? Because my hands are completely raw. So as far as daily routines, that's uh, something I'd like to hear about. Um, Susan says, yes, she's tired. She's resting more. She's not feeling guilty about it, but it's also been raining. It's been unseasonably cool here too. Normally it's warmer here by now. Donna says the botanical garden is closed. She's found areas where she can sit outside. She lives in an apartment like us too. So yeah, it's important to get outside. Um, Heather says her home practice has changed too. She shifted from the focus of semester to try and guide her college students to cultivate their own personal practices. Nice. Oh, Heather's also cleaning one room a day. Tim's parents are doing that too. They've got like little cleaning projects every day. Oh, they're painting now too. <laughs> See, we're still working full time. So we're not doing like big projects, but th there needs to be that daily clean to get rid of, uh, hopefully get rid of the virus if it's sitting around. I don't know if that's a 
fool's errand. I don't know. Hi, Jackie. She says energy is in low supply. Lots of tension in her body. Feels stiff all the time. Yes. Yes to all of that. Feeling all of those feels too. Robin's saying she finds yoga helps a lot when she's doing it. That is so true. I feel good when I'm doing it and then I'm done. And then it's like, oh, it's everything's still here. <laughs> so it's the same. Uh, Magdalena says definitely limited amounts of energy. Um, she says she's blaming it on too much screen time. So she's made a schedule for how much, including Netflix. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to limit, I'm going to limit my screen time too. Because I'm finding, uh, I think it's screen time. But I also just think it's the collective energy right now. I don't think it's just screen time. I, I do think limiting screen time is a good idea. And I'm going to do that as well. But I also just think it's the collective energy, right? Because I, I go out and I sit in front of the grocery store and I feel the same thing that I feel when I go online. So I don't know that it's just the the uh, online thing. Oh, Healing Hemp from Neza Naturals. Melody. Oh, Neza Naturals is here. Melody, do you live in Victoria? She must be Healing Hemp. Okay, thank you so much. I will check them out. They probably deliver too. They're probably closed right now, but they probably deliver. Thank you so much. We can get that. <laughs> oh, I'm glad C Calm Within the Chaos says their beach isn't closed. Our beaches aren't closed either, thankfully. There are, there are people on them, but they're scattered. Yeah, we live in a small town. Yeah, we live in a small city. We're, we're lucky we live in a city, but it's small. And... Our people are spread out. Canada's like that though, right? Parts are, yeah. Toronto wouldn't be. Mm. People are saying, uh, she's saying she's not going too crazy at the cleaning because they don't go anywhere and when they do, they wash their hands and dust. See, I guess I'm a little bit crazy about it because Trinity works at the grocery store and when she comes home, her hand washing routine is like, it's like she puts her hands under the water and she pulls them out. I'm like, do you know how to wash your hands? But she's 18, so she doesn't like take advice from her mother at this point. So that's why the cleaning is a bit. Oh, the Body Shop Shea Butter is amazing. Yeah, I love a, I love a thick hand cream, right? It's got to like really stick to your hands. So thank you, Becky. That's good. Um, oh, yeah, Julie's saying the guilt because the free times feel like I should be accomplishing something or I should be doing more. Yeah. Uh, give me a call. I'll give you some jobs to do. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't do that. Just rest right now. <laughs> You're all right. <laughs> uh, Renee says limiting screen time is a beautiful idea. Yes. The, uh, the room a day idea is a great idea. Um, let me recommend somebody to you guys um, who's so good at that. She's got a whole system for it and it's like completely doable. Her name is a uh, fly lady. Let me try and find it for you guys and I'll type it in. She divides the house into zones. Flylady.net. She's a little crazy and fun. I, when, I was do, when I was doing my um, PhD, I used to follow her and I think it was like it, she grounded me so much. I used to have do my house in zones Oh, see, Connie knows her. Yeah, she's she's totally awesome. So she'll have you cleaning out a drawer in your kitchen. And like before you know it, your whole house will be clean. And she has you like swiffing and swiping and cleaning. And yeah, so your house will be clean and you'll be having fun and you'll be swiffing and swiping. She's amazing. Oh, Tim wants to give you a book recommendation. Yeah, Is that right? let's do book recommendations. Tim's got a book recommendations. Oh yeah, the great thing about everything being closed and nobody traveling is um, 
the planet gets a chance to heal. Okay, this is a book that our friend and mentor is going crazy about. And um, Tim's reading it. And, and, and this book will change your life. It's expensive and hardcover. We bought it that way so we can share it. But it's called Tiny Habits Will Change Your Life. So on Kindle, it's much less expensive. It's by BJ Fogg. And he has a little online course too. You can, and it's like email, it's simple because it's tiny habits. But basically, he breaks things down into like super, super simple. So it's, it's really good. What am I reading right now? Oh yeah, let us know what you're reading. Give me your recommendations. Um, Larry, Lori saying mornings are hard. She feels o the overwhelm hard to dispel. And um, I would agree. I find it just, even when I wake up in the morning, it takes me a lot just to get out of bed right now. To Because that feeling is really strong and the feeling in the belly. Like I've been having like a lot of stomach aches lately and it's just, I think, really difficulty digesting everything. So you're not alone there, Lori. Um, oh, Cora, Connie says the fly li lady lives in Massachusetts. She's so funny. Yeah. Mar Marielle, Marielle says fly lady from 20 years ago. Yeah, that's when I was working on my PhD. <laughs> she kept me sane. We can do a book giveaway, yeah. How are we going to do it? Okay. Tiny habits are all about about all I can handle, so thanks. Yep. Totally. <laughs> um Benny says Pema Children stay calm in uncertain times. Oh yeah. Not sure what the English title is, but yeah. Any anything by Pema Children. Amazing. Sharon says she's reading, reading Letting Go, The Pathway to Surrender by David Hawkins. That's a great book. <laughs> David Hawkins' books are great. Uh, Jackie's reading Untamed by Glennon Doyle. Awesome. Magdalena's reading All is Well by Louise Hay. Oh, you know what? Um, Magdalena got me thinking about this. Um, my friend Shannon got me listening to Louise Hay speaking her affirmations because Shannon said her voice is so relaxing and it's true she is it's like listening to your grandma telling you that everything's gonna be okay it's totally awesome so sometimes in the morning when like when I'm getting ready to film I'll put Louise Hay on um you know doing the morning affirmations or the um and I don't even believe in affirmations. I, I think they're like not really that great an idea, but just the way she says them and like the, the self-esteem or the, the, yeah, she's just like her voice. I think a lot of affirmations have been taken kind of out of context, but when you go back to the grandmother of affirmations, they're just lovely. Okay. Um, so... So we're going to do a book giveaway because our friend Rick wrote this book. It's called What's Stopping You? And for those of you who know Byron Katie, he takes the work of Byron Katie and he kind of combines it with his own thing. Like, so for those, so let me say this about this book. Um, I had, I was, I have been wanting to write my own book for a long, long time and I was so stuck on it. And it was through this book and through working with Rick one-on-one -on -one that he got me unstuck and now I've been writing my book. So uh, it works. What he does is he gets you to write about um, what you want and then what you don't want and um, write when you write down what you don't want, you write your list of the things you don't want, and then you do the Byron Katie work. Like, is it true that you don't want it? Um, it? Can you absolutely know it's true? Who would you be without thought? And then you do the turnarounds on it. 
So it's really simple and it's easy to read. And uh, anyway, we have, you want to give away three books? Okay, so Tim wants to give away three books. So anybody who wants... Oh, it's had, and it, it has. It's had a tremendous impact on our lives. Like, Tim was super stuck on... Do you want me to say what you're stuck on? Tim was super stuck, and uh, it, uh, Tim's life turned around like 360, 180 degrees. So. Yes, amazing. Yeah. I don't know. How are you going to... I'll let Tim do it. If you want a copy of the book, let us know in the comments, and Tim will give away three copies of this book. If you say book, please, in the comments, Tim will, the first three that do it can have the book. No, we're done. First three? First three. Okay. 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 If you're stuck on something. Okay. Three books. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> we can get more, too. Rick is always saying if you want, need more books. So if you want a book, just email Tim, and and Tim will get you in touch with Rick, and Rick can get books out to people too. Because Rick would be happy to send you guys books too. <laughs> Everybody, yeah, Tim. So Tim's giving you an email address if you want a book. Email him, and you'll send people on to Rick too, because Rick can send out some too. <laughs> you guys are going to break us e posting all these books around the world. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, Byron Katie is amazing. Byron Katie is amazing. Okay, how about another poem? Um, so what I'm finding is really helpful is to keep checking in with how I'm feeling and what I need. So the thing that's causing me a lot of suffering right now is to think that I should be feeling differently than how I'm feeling. So um, I shouldn't be feeling this tense. I shouldn't be feeling this anxious. I shouldn't be feeling this fearful. Like those kind of judgments are causing me to shut down, feel tense in my body, to feel anxious, like to feel everything that Jackie was talking about. And I'm not saying that that's what Jackie's doing to herself, but that I could see a lot of myself in what uh, Jackie was experiencing in her body. So um, not deciding ahead of time how I should feel. And I feel like I'm doing this so much to myself. Like I get caught up in like, oh, I am a yoga teacher, so I need to be showing up in a way that's grounded, centered, and calm. So what ends up happening is that a lot of times I'm not grounded, centered, and calm right now, and then, I, I, and then I'm judging myself for that. So if I can just show up and, and say, gosh, I'm really freaking out right now, then actually what ends up happening is that I feel a lot more tenderness towards myself. And then I can say, okay, what do I need? Okay, I need 